Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is the third video in my How to Solve a Star Minx tutorial video series. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve the centers of a Star Minx, assuming that you have already solved all of the edges. And the way I'm going to show how to solve these is via commutator sequence. So, if you are not very familiar with commutator sequences, I first recommend that you view my edge solving tutorial where I show a basic commutator sequence where you isolate an edge and replace it and you end up creating a three cycle out of that. If you're not familiar with that principle, then you're going to want to review that video first before you tackle this one. In this video, I am assuming that you have already used sort of intuition and commutators to solve all of the edges, and so the parts of the star mix that are not solved are all of these all of the centers, so the, the 12 centers on this puzzle, and the star mix points. So those will all be broken, but all of the edges will all be placed. And so, if you recall, the way to construct a commutator is to isolate a piece. So here, if we're going to isolate edges, we isolated that edge, ignoring the fact that there's centers and, and, and star mix points in there. We isolate an edge, we replace it with a different edge, we undo the x, the, the isolation part, and then do the y, the, the commutation part. And we will have created a three cycle. So what we need to do is we need to look for a way to isolate a center. Now, because we're going to be solving centers and the star mix points are already broken, it's OK if we cycle the centers and the star mix points together. So we're really just looking for a way to isolate the centers without breaking any of the edges. So isolate the centers um, in such a way that there are no edges in the way. So. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to find a way to isolate the centers in a single move. Um, if you do that move, then you know there's that center right there, and you know you can do a slice move on this puzzle, but that's you know it doesn't really affect any centers. Um, and it, you know this center looks isolated, but it's not because you know when you do that, then you actually end up moving two centers. You move this brown center over here, plus you you break that edge. So there's really just no way to isolate the centers in a single move. And in fact, you know, I'll, I'll spare the, the details or the theory, but there's actually also no way to isolate a center in two moves either. In fact, there's really no way to do anything useful in two moves. Um, so you're going to have to use a minimum of three, but uh, let's, uh, let's sort of fall back on, on sort of the principle that we already know. So if, if we do the edge three cycle, you can see that if you just look at what it did, I ignoring the fact that it did edges, because that's not really important. We only care about centers here. This brown center is isolated. We can move it. Yes, it has two uh, star mix points on it, but it's isolated, so we can use that to, to do a three cycle for these centers. So check this out. So that's our x part. And then here's going to be our y part. And then we need to undo the x part. And then we need to undo the y part, and boom, we have a center three cycle. And because the star mix points are, are not yet solved, we, it doesn't matter if we break them, we have a three cycle that works. Now, let's, so let's do that again. And this center is isolated. But it turns out that on this puzzle, that center is also isolated, and that center is also isolated. So let's, let's do this instead. So let's do that. Now we gotta undo our gotta undo our x part. Oops, okay, there we go. That undoes our x part, and then we undo our y part. And it looks a little bit messier, but we did a yellow, light green, pink, three cycle of the centers. So as you can see, there's there's quite a bit of variety. And in fact, so let's do that again and say that the center is isolated. We we don't have to put the green there, we, we can put the orange there instead if we want. And then we'll undo our x part, and then undo our y part, and we just made a, a different three cycle. And using that same principle, you know, okay, we can put the blue there. And then undo. And there we go. So we made the purple, white, blue three cycle of a completely different pattern. So as you can see, this, this sequence isolates centers in a way that gives us a lot of variety in, in the types of three cycles. That, well, they're all three cycles, but in, in sort of the pattern of the three cycle that we make. Now, it turns out 
if we do four moves, so one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So if we use four moves, then one move, then four moves, then one move, we will have spent 10 moves to do a three cycle. Turns out you can actually do better than that. So let me show you. So if we're going to do our four move sequence, this center is isolated, right? It doesn't matter whether or not we did that fourth move. So when we did the one first, you know, X, Y, undo X, it doesn't matter if we undo Y or not here, this center is still isolated. So then we can undo our X part, undo that, and we just created a three cycle that used only eight moves instead of 10. So it's a three, one commutator, one move, two moves, undo one move. So that's three moves, four, one, two, three. So now we're at seven, eight. So that's an eight move or a three, one uh, commutator um, that cycles three centers. So it's actually a, a this is a, so this is a conjugate sequence where you do an X and then you do a Y and then you undo X. So it's actually a one, one conjugate commutated with another one, but I'll, I'll spare you the details there. So even though there is a whole bunch of variety in what is available to you, I wouldn't actually recommend that you use it if you're not comfortable with how to use commutators in the first place. So if you've never solved a star mix before, and this whole commutator business sounds a little bit complicated, then I wouldn't actually recommend that you make use of all of the variety that is available to you. I would just pick one sequence, m memorize what it does, and just use that. So we did 10 moves there, but if you're solving a physical star mix or you're solving and this is the first time, you're probably not going to care that you can actually do it in eight moves. And you're just going to memorize the fact that, you know, if I apply the sequence in that way, then these centers are going to move in a clockwise way about these centers. And of course, because of the commutator based principle, if you do the Y part first, and then you do the X part, then you undo Y, and then you undo X, that is you swap X and Y, you will have done the inverse three cycle. So instead of moving them clockwise, you, you move the centers counterclockwise. And since we've memorized what it does, if we want to do the yellow, red, orange, clockwise three cycle, then we can just do And boom, we did the yellow, red, orange, clockwise three cycle. And if we want to do the yellow, red, orange, counterclockwise three cycle, so the orange, red, yellow, then we'll do the Y part first, and then we'll do our X part. And then we'll undo our Y, undo our X, and we just did the red, yellow, orange, counterclockwise three cycle. And so as you can see, if you've already solved all of the edges on this puzzle, and then you need to go about and solve the centers, you can use a three cycle like this or some variation thereof or even a shorter version if you if you feel comfortable using a shorter version and you can solve all of these centers on this puzzle um, with just one basic three cycle and it's inverse if you so choose so you can also use setup moves and I, I guess I better show a setup move um, just in case uh, you know, uh, invariably, you know, you're never going to, when you're solving it, you're very rarely going to be able to solve all three all nicely at once. So suppose we want to do a light blue, red, purple. Okay, so we, we just did two setup moves, a light blue, a red, and a purple. So then we're going to do our X part. And then we're going to bring our Y part over here. And then we're going to undo our X. And then we're going to undo our Y. Okay, so then now we need to put our purple back. That's our first setup move, or that's our second. And then we need to undo our first setup move. And there we go. So we did a light blue, a red, and a purple using setup moves. And so using that principle, the, the setup move principle, combined with the commutator principle, you should be able to solve all of the centers on this puzzle without affecting any of the edges on this puzzle at all. And then, of course, you, that will leave you with all the star mix points. And so we'll have to figure out a sequence for the star mix points. And that's what I'll cover in the next video.